Hello everyone, so I'm going to show you how to create the shadow and also the inside wording for the bamboo earrings and the keychains. So the first step would be to go to um, Inkscape. So you pull up Inkscape. To the left right here, you'll see an A for text. You would left click that. You would left click the screen and type in the name that you would like. Then you go up top um, and select the lettering that you would like. Let's see. I am going to use Mistral. I think that's what it's called. Okay, so I selected the name that I want to use. Now you're going to uh, hit Control Shift. Go to the cursor here, extend that out so we can see it. Okay, so now the next step would be to select the font, which we already selected, and then you would go to path and then object to path. The next step would be to object and group. The next step would be to go to path union. The next step after that would go to path link offset. So path link offset. At this point, if you hover over it, you will see that there is a red lining around it. So what we want to do is choose a different color. It doesn't have to be the color that you're going to use. This is just an example. So right here is a node. So we want to bring that node out. Which will be your shadowing. So the next step after that would be to go back to, well first we want to click on the outside. So go back to the selector, click the outside, and then click the shadow, and then go to path, object to path. So we want to move the black lettering out the way. We want to select this letter. So there are holes which will cut out in the Cricut or whatever cutting machine you'll use. So you want to cut the holes out. So you want to go to your node selector and you see these right here in the inside. We need to delete those so it won't create holes when it cuts. So to do that, you would left click, hold down, let go, and delete. Delete, 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 delete as many of them as possible that you can see. bring that back and there you go you have created your shadow and your inner lining so the next step would be to go to file save as you save it under whatever you'd like to save it under and then you would go down here for the save as type and you would save it as a plain SVG hit save now we will go over to the Cricut design space, I should say. I don't think I have it. So. I already have it. So let's open a new one. I'm just saving 
previous project. Okay, I forgot when I saved that ass that quick. We shall find it. have to go back and save it again because I didn't I don't remember what I saved it as so file save as blue earring Browse. So you want to go to upload and then browse. And I'm going to go to where I saved it at. Blue earring. Open. And it already has the background cut out for you so you don't have to do any editing. Then you hit save. Click it. Insert the image, and there you go. So this is grouped together. So to ungroup this, you can resize this as well like this. So let's say, I believe, um, usually for the earring, it's about three inches. Or it could be a little bit smaller, depending on how big your earring is. Um, the keychain, same thing, a little bit under five, uh, four and a half inches. So, or five inches, however big you want it. So, you can size it at this point and then ungroup it. That's usually what I do. And then you take it out. And then you can copy as many of these as you want to. Let's say if you were doing different names. And then the Cricut will cut according to the color. So, that is the end of my tutorial. So please like and subscribe to my channel and I hope you guys have a good day. So I didn't tell you guys how many shadows and how many inner name plates to cut. Um, so I'm bringing you another video inside of a video. Inside of another one. <laughs> okay, so for earrings... You don't need a hole unless you're making like a nameplate, like a necklace, then you'll put a hole. Um, I'm going to show you how to put the hole. So let's say you make this bigger. So you will go to shapes, go to circle, make this circle smaller. I'd say put it up there. I would make it even smaller. I actually have a spring drill tool that cuts these holes, but if you want to put a hole at the top or on the side, you can do it this way. So you would select, oops, select, slice. Take the hole out, take that hole out, and there you go. You have yourself a hole and delete. Now you can bring that back down, make sure this fits in, arrange this, send to the front, and Move it down some so that the hole can fit. And there you are. And then you would, so you would cut 
two of these shadows if you want it really thick if you're using the photo board um, I usually just use one but if you want to make it thicker and sturdier you can use two stack them together you after you stack them together you can use Mod Podge on the top of it and add glitter to it or you can cut this out another piece of this out on cardstock colored cardstock so like blue or something like that and put it on the top or you can cut out another one of these and use vinyl at the top so many different possibilities while you're doing these uh, earrings necklaces bracelets what have you earrings whatever um, the in, this inside one I usually cut out six in cardstock I usually cut out two different colors or you can even paint this with acrylic paint, acrylic paint, and then Mod Podge over it. But for this one, I cut out six cardstock. You can cut out six blue. You can cut out five white, and then the last layer, which is the sixth layer, you can cut it out in vinyl, or you can cut it out in a different color cardstock. Up, totally up to you. And then you would just stack these on top of this. So you'll stack all the angel inside lettering together and then Mod Podge the back of it and sit it on top of this. Um, if you're adding glitter to this, the second nameplate, then I would suggest adding the glitter before you put it on to the shadowing. And so that's pretty much it. I think I showed you guys everything. Thing, go ahead and like and subscribe to my new YouTube channel. Um, if you'd like, you can also join my arts and crafts groups, which is Learn Arts and Crafts with Touch by an Angel 36. Or if you just want to browse a few pictures, I also paint as well. Um, you can go to Touch by an Angel 36. I'll put all that information in the description. If you have any questions, you can always email me at touchbyanangel at gmail.com. Hope you all have a great day.